Welcome to LearnWire. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Postly. Uh, this is a social media manager and content scheduler. Now, after I came out with my radar review, um, I had several people request for me to do a Postly review and then possibly a Postly uh, versus radar. So that's what we'll be doing uh, today. We'll be looking at Postly. I've already set up my account so we can go and I'll actually be uh, going through the whole process of uh, signing up a couple of accounts uh, or connecting some platforms, just taking a look at um, all the, the different tools, getting a good feel of how Postly works, um, and then uh, what I'll do is you you will want to make sure that you subscribe to LearnWire because um, I will be doing a Postly versus Radar review next. Um, and so if you guys are on the fence about Postly or Radar, then hopefully this video and my next video will help you make a, a better informed decision. So let's jump in. Uh, as usual, we're on the Postly uh, page on AppSumo. Now this is a lifetime deal. Uh, which means that if you pick this up on AppSumo, then you won't have to pay monthly for um, your uh, subscription to Postly because if we go over to their site over here you, uh, under pricing, you will see that they have plans starting at $9 a month for 10 social accounts. You get, um, I believe, up to 30 um, social accounts. So their lifetime deal is um, is unique. It's not a hundred percent matching up with uh, anything over here. I think it mostly matches up with this one. Only you get the 30 up to 30 social accounts and five workspaces. So it's really more of the $20 a month plan, but you just get a little bit more of this. I do think you get five workspaces and you only get, I think you get 20,000, uh, AI, AI characters per month. We'll be taking a look at that. Um, I haven't seen a social media, uh, publishing tool, um, since Okoya that had an AI uh, generation tool built into it. So I'm excited to test that out for you guys and check it out. So um, because when you're in these tools, and that's one thing that, um, that Radar did lack was um, you want to be able to quickly come up with content uh, for your social media posts. So having the handy AI writer is nice built inside the tool. Um, of course, you can use any of your other ones that you have. Um, and, but it's just another extra step. You have to open up another tab, log into another account. So it is nice if they can make it uh, seamless and make it easy to use inside the tool. So we'll come back over here. I like to see uh, just kind of what's going on with the tool. They're at 60 reviews um, and they're maintaining a problem. It's looking like about a 4.7. Um, you can see right here, um, if I zoomed in, um, that there is some, um, missing parts on the five taco, but pretty strong at about a 4.7, I would say. So it's $59. I'm not sure um, if we're able to stack codes on this one or not. I did read some of the reviews and did a little bit of research before this video, and it didn't look like they had um, came up with a way to stack codes or not. But um, if I go through the buying process, then I would know if you could stack codes or not. But here is where it is uh, nicely laid out. So the lifetime deal offer, you're, oh, okay, so you're getting the 30 accounts, you're getting five workspaces, you're getting 20,000 AI characters per month. Um, and I'm not, if I've read it correctly, I think that's per, um, it's per user. So it's per user. So I, I think the same user would be connected to the five workstations. So it's 20,000 probably spread across those. Um, you know, if you're a solopreneur or something like that, then it won't really matter. You probably, you, you may or may not use more than the one workspace. Um, but if you're an agency, then, um, then definitely you, the 20,000, um, characters, um, per month, uh, could impact you and you would be more interested in the workspaces, unlimited team members, unlimited scheduled posts. Um, so I like that right off the bat, unlimited scheduled post, um, and then 30 social accounts. That's crazy. Um, and then they have the uh, 20,000 AI characters. So um, automatically they are being very generous with this uh, lifetime deal at $59 um, and so forth. They tell you how to redeem your code and then it um, connects with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok, Reddit, Telegram, Google business profile. So it has some unique ones in here that I haven't seen before and that I'm not currently using um, in my business. So I'm not really sure if you know, I, I'm not going to be able to test that out because it doesn't really make sense if I don't have any of those accounts. And, you know, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there has been a, um, a revamp. 
or a remodel of AppSumo's website. And, you know, I, I'm okay with change for sure, but I'm just not really sure I like their new layout. Um, I liked the other one. I thought it was actually cleaner, easier to find things. It was more condensed down. And now it's like everything's spread out all over the place. Uh, they, you know, just don't have, um, I don't know. It's just like, it's, it's, it's not as condensed or refined. So um, that's just my opinion. I don't know. You guys drop a comment below. What do you think about the remodel of uh, the AppSumo website? I personally am not really liking it that much. Um, but I mean, like when you can only see one thing on the screen at a time, like right now we're looking at one an uh, answer or review and we scroll down, you can only see like one or two at a time. It's just not now, of course I could, I could zoom out and stuff, but, and actually that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I just don't like it. So, um, <laughs> But we're going to come come through here and look. So um, it looks like the first post, um, when did this come out? Um, I looked it up earlier. It came, It looks like it hit AppSumo around November of 2021. Um, okay, so there's there we go. We have the pricing. Um, the, here's the roadmap. Here's all the stuff that they've already completed on um, the platform. Google Business Profile, uh, Telegram, um, the content calendar, the Postly AI writer, reoccurring posts. Uh, that's something that's really cool. They've added dark mode, smart polls, content scheduler. So they've done a lot of work in the last six months that they've been uh, launched. Uh, they have stuff in progress right here. Tagging, white label solutions, post review per platform, bulk upload, uh, upgrade. And then there's a waiting list right here. Um, so they definitely have an active roadmap. Nice to see that uh, with these new platforms and so forth. Uh, we're going to come through here and I'll just look at, I like to look over here because they've already broken down all the different uh, features um, and look at all the different platforms. Really, really cool. So content planner, content publisher, audience engagement, analytics, AI writer, team collaboration. Um, you've got different workspaces. Uh, let's see, trends for you, bulk uploads, reoccurring posts, Facebook publishing, Twitter, Google business profile, Instagram publishing. And it, I believe it um, will, yep, yeah, it'll go Instagram Reels, your personal profile, uh, Carousel, all kinds of stuff. Uh, YouTube publishing. So you could schedule your, um, you could use this as a YouTube scheduler or a TikTok, TikTok scheduler as well, Reddit and Telegram and so forth. Okay, so we'll go jump in. Uh, this is what the platform looks like inside. Um, clean interface. Um, I like how there's bas basically options on the top or the bottom. Uh, all your main, uh, uh, like your, the main pages um, or different things that you can do are over here on the left, like the content planner. Um, after we add some posts, we can come and take a look at that. Here's where we're going to add our um, platforms. Of course, there's going to be settings, work space settings. I'm not going to go over, get into de too, uh, detail over team and workspace settings. Um, it gets a little technical, but also it is also self-explanatory. Um, you can add multiple team members, which is going to be for, you know, anyone that's working with you. Um, and you want to assign them to be able to publish. So you can actually, uh, you could, you know, purchase Postly and then you can actually outsource it to somebody and they can become one of your team members as a user, right? Um, and then the workspace could be for different actual companies or sites um, that you are managing. So that gets really uh, more into it when you have multiple employees or you're an agency. But for me, it's uh, it would just be for myself really. So um, I don't have to really worry about that, but it's nice that they have um, all those options, okay? I'm gonna come back over here to home. Then you have your published posts. Before we come and take a look at this, let's go ahead and just go and connect some accounts. So we're going to go over to platforms. Uh, I'm going to go and connect. Let's see. I'm going to connect uh, my usual here by just connect, pushing connect. Okay, so perfect. Uh, so I went through that process. It was very, very easy. Uh, you might have saw there was a little error up here, but the error, it, it, I, I had no problems connecting. You can see all these different pages that I've built on my Facebook pages throughout the years. Uh, all these different startups, all kinds of good stuff. I've been doing this for you know probably 15 years online, so you can actually see all these different pages. Really cool. Right here, LearnWire Reviews, um, my Facebook page. I'm going to go ahead and push connect right here. We're in wire reviews connected. Okay, cool. Uh, you could connect any pages or uh, groups or anything like uh, that you that you want to uh, connect um, very very easily. All right, so I'm going to go back over to platforms. I'm also going to try TikTok, but really I don't know. I just want to see um, if it'll connect. Um, I don't really have anything to po uh, to post to TikTok, 
but I'm going to go ahead and I do have a, a LearnWire um, account. So here's the integration. We're just going to say authorize and you can see it's super, super fast and we connected TikTok successfully. So literally uh, two clicks and we are connected, right? Two clicks and we're connected. We've got um, all the other ones uh, we can connect as well, but we connected two just to show you how easy it is. Um, and I'm on a free account right now, so it looks like I can connect up to 10, but that's great. Okay, so now let's go back to home and then we're gonna come back over here, guys, to um, we don't have any published posts, scheduled posts reoccurring in your draft. So um, let's go right over here. Uh, let's get you started with scheduling your first post on Postly. Um, it's easy. It's easy in just four steps. Uh, get started. So I'm going to click the button. So here's the writing tool and the preview uh, video, photo, create poll. Uh, so if I created a poll, um, we can ask a question. Okay, so and so this is where um, we want to go and check out the AI writer because I don't really know what I want to post, right? But let's do a post or let's do a poll or something like that. But I want to go over to the AI writer. Um, so this is uh, automatically, uh, unless I'm missing something, this is where uh, maybe some of the other tools uh, kind of um, are a little more creative and win. Um, as far as like uh, being able to integrate and have uh, get images and things like that inside of here. Um, this, if we click on photo, you get one from your local computer or a URL. So there really isn't anything in here that um, that's going to help us create our content. It's, it's so it's very heavy on the, um, you know, publishing side. It's a it's a very good publisher. Um, for all your social media accounts. Um, but um, I think that the advantage would be to go to the AI writer right over here um, and then go to social media right here. And then let's just say we want to go with post ideas. I'm just gonna come up with something right there. We can go with relaxed or professional and you can choose uh, how many uh, you want right here. I'm gonna say create copies. And so we have our AI writer going to work real quick. Let's see what it comes up with. And you can get unlimited characters is what it looks like for $29 a month. That's pretty good. Um, if you definitely, if you're an agency, um, it definitely used a lot of, a lot of characters. Um, so we've got over here for post ideas, find the right software. So it really came up with a lot of content. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, so you could look at this in different ways. Either this is impressive or um, it's kind of interesting that it came up with so much content. I just wanted it to come up with these little sentences right here, but um, find the right software. Not all software is created equal. You need to find the right programs for your specific business. That's cool. So I'm just gonna go like this. And what you can do is you can push save. We may as well save these as posts. Um, and then I'm gonna come back over to the go back button over here. We're going to go back to social media. So that was just, um, that was the post ideas. So post captions, I'm kind of interested what is going to come up with because I'm just going to come up. I'm just going to do one for now. Say create. Yeah. Oh, so we've already used, so we used it one time. The free is, is done now. Um, that, it just makes me laugh, um, about these free, so about these softwares. It's like, if you want me to sign up, you got to show me a little bit more. And I know I've gone off on a rant before on this, but this, that was just hilarious because we told it to come up with post ideas, not captions, post ideas. And then it wrote like 2000 characters uh, for us. Right. So just super funny, but anyways, uh, nonetheless, they have four modules right here. I don't know if I would, you know, use this as an all out, um, AI writer, um, for that price, you can get better tools for $30 a month. Um, but, um, it is there. So that's the AI writer. So we'll go back over to home and then, um, <clears throat> I guess you can just go to your draft right up here. Nope. I guess we don't have a draft. All right. So I'm going to put that in right here and then we don't have a, so that is going to be one of the things we don't have a photo. So I would have to go and create a photo. So I'm going to have to go to, um, I'm going to have to go to Canva and make one real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So I just uh, quickly created something in Canva. You can see over here and we're going to go and uh, go to photo. We want to add a photo real quick and we've added that photo. Uh, that is kind of interesting. Uh, hopefully it does not look like that. 
I'm going to push the preview button. Okay, so push the preview button. Um, there you go. Facebook preview, find the right software. Um, kind of interesting text um, or font, sorry. But, um, but that's what it's going to look like. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's got my uh, branding colors. You can also schedule this to repeat. Uh, you can post now, set time to post. I don't see where um, we can change the font. Uh, maybe that's under my account or settings. Um, I'm going to go and look at that in a minute. But for now, let's go and do a post now. I also wanted to get some hashtags. So actually, we should just add a hashtag over here. Something like that. And we're going to post now and push post target platforms to publish to. Okay, so I need to select, kindly select the target platforms to publish to. Okay, so that part is um, a little confusing because there's nothing, there's no like icons or anything standing out to us. We actually, and for whatever reason, this is not really highlighted. It should be kind of highlighted as a button or there should be an arrow right here. Um, so that, that should be improved uh, for a brand new user. Uh, this right here, you've got to click on it. And then you go over here and um, you can uh, select the page right here and just push save changes. Okay, post now. So those are just some things while you're using a brand new software that stand out to you that, you know, might not be the best uh, UI. Uh, so I would, I would, uh, I would Im improve that. So I'm gonna push post. We'll come back and check that out. Um, before we go and check out what that's gonna look like, let's go and just do one more and schedule it. So I'm gonna come back over to, uh, I can't use the AI, AI writer, right? Because um, I'm gonna go back to the AI writer. So it's saying that this published right here. I guess we can go and take a look at it and click on that. That's what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so I came back over here and clicked on um, my LearnWire uh, Facebook page and it did in fact uh, publish very nicely. We have the and it, it's cool. It doesn't tell you that where it was published from. So some of those other platforms, they actually tell you right here published by, um, and it does not say that. So I like that. It's nice and clean as if I published it from Facebook directly. So that would be a nice uh, added benefit. We have the nice image that came through and, um, and then the, the hashtags and everything. So pretty cool. Um, that's good. So that works. We'll do one more guys. We'll come back over here to the AI writer. Okay, so we made a new one real quick. We go back into Postly and we grab some text right here that we already saved from the AI writer. And then we come back over. Um, I don't see a quick button uh, to be able to go and just create a post right away very quickly. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. So we have to go to home and then it's right here. Boom, it's ready to go right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Before we do that, I, I wish I had a couple of credits left, but I don't think I do. Hashtag generator. It, we just, we don't have any. We It's not letting us do anything. Okay. Nope. I can't show you the hashtags. Um, <laughs> that's disappointing. I got to use the AI writer one time, guys. That's awesome. Um, it doesn't make you want to sign up. Um, uh, that's what these companies need to learn. Okay. So... Okay, so we got some hashtags in there. Uh, we need to add our image now, use the right tools. And then we have to select our platform with this right here. Select our platform and save changes. And then we're not gonna post this now, we're gonna set a time to post. Okay, it's got my, it picked up on my um, time zone, which is good. Okay, so it's in military time. We'll go 13, confirm. And we will schedule that post. So we scheduled our post. Let's go over here to the content planner. I want to show you guys real quick. And then you can see right here, we have a post scheduled later on um, right here. And there we go. All right. So that is uh, just kind of taking you through the tool, showing you the features. It was very, very easy to set up um, just a couple clicks of a button. So it was one of the easiest uh, tools to set up the accounts. I will say that it's fast. Everything seems to work. Um, and you know, some of the uh, cons were um, that it, the big, the biggest con for me was that it doesn't have any kind of design tool uh, built in. Uh, so this is going to be, if you need a, a nice, speedy content uh, scheduler, then this is going to do the trick for you. 
Um, but it, as far as a design tool or anything like that, you're going to have to do that elsewhere. You're going to have to outsource or hire someone, or you're going to have to go to Canva and create the graphics yourself. Um, you're going to have to create the videos, all that stuff, uh, and bring it to the platform to schedule. But you will be able to manage all of your scheduling for all the major platforms all in one tool. I like that. Um, so um, all in all, it looks like a pretty good tool. Um, definitely worth $59 in my opinion. Um, and so you guys want to make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to LearnWire because I'm going to be doing a Postly versus Radar review um, just to kind of compare the two, what the pros and cons of each are, and then kind of let you guys know which one I probably would go with. All right. Thank you. See you in the next one.